What's up guys, I'm Mike Knowles. For all of you guys that are Pokemon fans, I'm getting a little bit bored with the game story or the anime story, which has been getting pretty boring. I've got great news for you guys today. The Pokemon Company just announced through their promotional video for it on their YouTube page, Pokemon Generations. Generations will be a series of Pokemon animated adventures taking place in each of the Pokemon regions from Kanto all the way to XYZ, or at least theorized that far by the appearance of Zygarde. The best part is that Pokemon Generations will be taking a note from the old Pokemon Chronicles where we'll be jumping around from character to character and not focusing on Ash. You know, not that Ash is bad, but he's pretty bad. Uh, some of the storylines we can assume through the promotional video include Red's rivals rise to Pokemon League Champion and its battle with Lance in Kanto, Lance's Red Gyarados incident in Johto, the fight against Team Rocket's organized crime from the perspective of officers, the true story of the Regis and the awakening of Regigigas, he trans in danger of the island he lives on by reactivating the volcano, and something to do with Zygarde, along with some other ones that I just I just can't tell you about because I don't know. Uh, the only downside is these are going to be like short mini episodes, three to five minutes each. But but on the upside of that, they're going to be released weekly through December 23rd. So it means that even if they're in these like little small chunks, hopefully they'll be bridged apart. Like so, like three of them will be one actual story cohesively. And with it supposedly starting this Friday with two episodes running all the way to the 23rd, it means that we should be seeing around 14 episodes roughly, assuming they don't show some more double ups or anything like that. We'll find out, but I mean, I'm really excited for this. I think they can do some really unique things going from like different characters, different perspectives. And what I really like is that it, it looks like they're gonna do something with Origins where they show more of the fleshed out world and show a very realistic take on what's going on. Like for, for example, this whole storyline that appears to be like officers taking down Team Rocket or some organized crime. Like, it's actually showing like an organized police force existing in the universe doing things you'd see in like the real world but just with Pokemon which makes it more cool and I, I like those real world implications and even though it's like a super serious tone it adds like a layer of realism that gives it a serious tone because you can relate to it but anyway what do you guys think about all this what's the story you want to see or something you want to see come out of it maybe just say hey have them be like oh let's do more of these and let's make them longer or something like that let us know in the comment section down below as always, guys, subscribe for more great daily content or check out another video, and we'll see you guys later. Magical Pokemon, they're a threat to everyone, so obviously they're the villain. I, I think that's a very obvious plot twist here. Spooky stuff, man. Spooky stuff. Then we get our first look at Team Skull's previously mentioned Enforcer Gladion. Following that familiar face's return, when Dexio and Cena from X and Y appear to be handing you an item called the Zygarde Cube, used to collect pieces of Zygarde you'll find around the islands. After that, a new feature is introduced, which harkens back to Pokemon Snap. It allows you to take pictures of Pokemon and scenery in the world and post it to a fictitious online platform. And finally, before it closes out, we get our first look at Ultra Beast 